It's Father's Day! Or at least it is if you're watching this the day it came out, or if you're watching this a year after the day it came out. Anyway, I wanted to do something special today to remind you to go appreciate your old man, so I thought I would tell you about some of my favorite dads in video games. I doubt I'd actually be the same gamer I am today if it weren't for my dad. The first system I ever got to play on was his Atari 2600, which features games such as Help the Green Blob Not Die or something, Chase Some Cows, Golf, Gorf, Mega Mania, and two white lines hitting a white square back and forth. And it was actually someone from my dad's work that sold me an NES along with Mario and Mega Man! I remember that whenever I played Super Mario Brothers, I always thought Mario looked just like my dad with the whole hat and stash combo, which is kind of his signature look. Yeah, that's me. Anyway, I'd like to dedicate this video to my dad and all the dads out there. Here are my top five favorite dads in video games. Number five, Bowser. I don't know if I'd really consider Bowser a great dad, but he certainly knows how to spoil his kids. In all the Mario games they appear in, the Koopa Kids each have their very own castle or airship and a powerful magic scepter, and a badass line of racers in the Mario Kart series. Not to mention, Bowser frequently attempts to kidnap Peach to stand in as their mother figure. Who better to be King Koopa's bride than the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom? He's just looking out for his kids is all. Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo was one of my absolute favorite games to play back in the day, and I always thought it was really cool that all the bosses were just Bowser's psychotic children. Even though they were evil, they had this whole family togetherness thing going on that kind of made you appreciate the fact that they wanted to kill you. Anyway, like I said, I don't know if I'd call him a great dad, but I don't think the Koopa Kids are complaining. Number four, Dr. Light. Yes, I'm very predictable. My obsession with the Mega Man series lands at a spot on just about every countdown video I do, but Dr. Light is without a doubt one of gaming's coolest dads. Even though he's not a father in the strictest sense, building your children is a lot more effective than the other way people make babies, whatever that is. A lot of people rag on him for sending his own kid off to fight deadly robots, but that's not really how it went down. I think most of you know this story by now. Mega Man was originally named Rock, and he had a sister named Roll. They were Dr. Light's assistants in his lab and home until the day that Dr. Wily declared his plans for world domination, at which point Rock volunteered to be converted into Mega Man and the rest is history. Dr. Light clearly cares for Mega Man and helps him a lot along the way and provides him with power-ups including an awesome canine companion named Rush. And if you really want to talk parenting, he even scatters capsules containing his own hologram and AI to guide his final creation, Mega Man X, a hundred years in the future. That's dedication. Number three. Hagger. Meet Final Fight's Mike Hagger, the mayor of Metro City, former pro wrestler, and father of this hottie. When the Mad Gear Gang kidnaps Hagger's daughter Jessica, what does he do? Call the police? Hire a detective? Pace around his kitchen with a box of tissues waiting for a phone call with some good news? Hell nah! He's gonna walk all 297 pounds of his 6'6 six six ass out onto the street and start trashing thugs until he gets his daughter back. That's what a real dad does. He takes matters into his own hands. Take that, Doug! Eat pavement, Simons! Say hello to the ground, bread! Yes, Mike Hagger is one terrifying father, and like all great dads, he rocks a mustache. Number two! Sparta. So I told my friend Clash about this video idea and asked him for suggestions on what dads from video games I should put in it, and he suggested Sparta from Devil May Cry. Now, I thought it was a great choice, but I don't know all that much about him, so I'm gonna let him take this one away. Sparta, the Dark Knight from the Devil May Cry series. Father to the protagonist Dante and his antagonist brother Virgil. Demon. Father. Badass. Now, on the list of mythical creatures that might make a good dad, Demon is probably not very high. But Sparta isn't just your average demon, and he's not your average dad either. And he's awesome in two different storylines. In the reboot, DMC Devil May Cry, he falls in love with Eva, who's an angel, a forbidden romance that he escapes from Mundus, the Demon King, to pursue, hiding themselves away in the home he built for them called Paradise. After Dante and Virgil are born, Mundus finds them and exacts terrible vengeance, ripping out Eva's heart, but Sparta fights on, whisking his young sons away and hiding them amongst the humans. Afterward, as he fights back, he is captured by Mundus and condemned to eternal punishment and pain for his transgressions. Presumably with his only consolation, the thought, at least I did right by my sons. At least I did right by them. 
Even from beyond his eternal prison, he still continues to help his sons in the form of secret mementos imbued with his powers, the weapons Rebellion and Yamato, and the power of his lineage, which gives them the power to fight the demons. So, in the end, even his demonic rocket sauce was a gift. In the original Devil May Cry series, Sparta was a little more of a hands-off kind of dad, having little to do with their actual lives, however his legacy is much stronger. He single-handedly defeated the Demon Hordes and Mundus, and sealed the portal between worlds with his own blood, cementing himself as an epic father figure, not just to his sons, but all humankind. And if that's not an epic dad, then I don't know who is. Billy Ray Cyrus? Number one! Meet Harry Mason, main protagonist of Silent Hill 1 and father to Heather Mason, or Cheryl, or whatever you want to call her. Harry Mason and his wife Jody find a baby on the side of the road and decide to take her in as their own, naming her Cheryl. Three years later, Jody passes away from a disease, leaving Harry to raise his daughter by himself. When Cheryl is seven years old, she convinces her father to take a vacation in the peaceful resort town Silent Hill. But on the way there, Harry loses control of his car trying to avoid a girl who suddenly appears in the road. When he awakens from the wreck, his daughter is missing. It's then that through the sheer love for his daughter, Harry embarks on his journey through the twisted nightmare world of Silent Hill in order to get his daughter back. Well, it turned out that Cheryl was actually spawned from a girl named Alessa Gillespie who had drawn Cheryl back to her using their psychic link or something. Basically, Cheryl and Alessa fuse back together into a being who gives birth to another baby, whom she presents to Harry to keep as his own, which he does, and he names her Heather. So let's recap that. He raised a kid that wasn't even his own as a single dad. When she went missing, he went through the equivalent of hell to get her back. He ended up getting back a new baby, raising it like his own anyway, all the while giving her gifts to prepare her for the horrible days ahead, which do eventually come 17 years later when the psychos from Silent Hill come back for Heather, murdering Harry in the process. The end. Best dad ever. So there you have it, my top five dads in gaming. What are your favorite dads in video games? Make sure you tell me in the comments and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, because if you don't, I'm gonna call your dad and tell him to cut a switch and tan your hide. Oh, and be sure to check out Clash's channel for videos about games made during this century!